Hi, I'm Mr. O Mingyo. Okay, I'm going to talk about the current potential difference resistance in a series circuit. Okay, down here we have a diagram of a series circuit and uh, let's look at the current. I have the current at this point called I1 and current at this point called I2 and current at this point called I3. Okay, we see that in a series circuit, right, there's only one path for the current to flow through. So if this amount of current flow through this point right, then the current must have flown through this point and this point. So we can say that uh, I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3. Okay, some students, they have a misconception. They thought that uh, I1, after it passed through the re resistor 1, right, uh, it will, it's going to become smaller. And I2, when it passes through the resistance, right, it's going to become smaller here. Okay, but that, that is not true because um, there is only one path for the current to flow through. So if, if I1 flows through this point, right, then the same amount of I1 must have gone to uh, point 2 and point 3. Okay, now um, we move on to uh, voltage. Okay, uh, this voltage total here is actually the EMF of the circuit and the EMF here is split um, into V1 and V2 and how much of the voltage goes to uh, R1 how much of the voltage goes to R2 right it depends on the value of their resistance if let's say a resistor has got a higher uh, resistance value right it will it will need a uh, more voltage okay so Vt is equal to V1 plus V2. Okay, let me emphasize again. So if you were to add up all the potential difference across the individual components in the series circuit, right, it's going to give you the total voltage by the source. And for the resistance, right, the total resistance in a series circuit, we just need to plus them together. Okay, so RT is equal to R1 plus R2. 